it's a synchronous synchronous and human heart means just two of it. A synchronous pattern or nothing. Just like you are uh, synchronous and a synchronous means that's what I do. Just like parallel if you want to run, that's called a synchronous. Okay. Again, thread is a already predefined class. For that one, we need to create object. Thread object, we create a thread object. Okay. Afterwards, here you can see so many methods. Thread, start. See, I have two methods. Method one and method two. Normally, how it will be called? Without any threads. Like this. Method one and method two. I am printing method one and method two. Output will be like this. What I do? Just like like this output will be spread. First we print method one, executed zero, executed one, executed three, executed four, like this ten in print after completion. First method it will go to the second method. Okay. Next here observe it. Actually, I don't know for uh, some new new topics we need to include new topic. Actually, system dot tensor dot wireline and all we used using system, but uh, the list collections and all we used something system dot collections. Here we need to use system dot threading. Threading is the namespace. Okay, that namespace under the namespace. See here, I have same two methods. For two methods, what I did, I created two threads. Under the threads, I pass the method name, method one and method two. Now output will be just see. Just I I created threads, two methods. For this one, I get separate separate two threads. I gain start start. Okay, now observe it. Output will be. These are the my two methods normally. Method one and method two. Okay, now observe this. Data will be like this. It's printed in between. And one more thing you can observe in between codes. Thread dot sleep I give. What is the meaning of sleep means? Actually this task actually 1 to 1000 printing means it is tracks of seconds. It's like very very fast. Means we cannot observe what is going on. That's why if you understand in purpose, we kept thread to dart sleep. What is the meaning of thread dart sleep is it will sleep that much time. So that is very milli milliseconds. This means four seconds. You can indicate this is milliseconds. This means four seconds. Okay. That time it is just it will wait. After that again it will start. Just like it will print one, it will wait four seconds. Afterwards, it will start second. In between 4 seconds, automatically I started two methods, method 1 and method 2. If I, in method 1, I waited 2 seconds means, assume this is thread 1, this is thread 2. Okay, here what happens first, it will print 1. Afterwards, it is belongs to first method. It will wait 4 seconds. At in between 4 seconds, automatically my method 2 it will trigger. If you trick method 2, it will print 2. Again, it will wait 4 seconds. In between, again, it will turn. Like this, after that, it will become a For that purpose, we give sleep. This is sleep and all very tenuous means. Normally, if you want to do some programming parallelly, that time you can use sleep methods. For if I want to wait some code. So, suppose what the meaning of that one? <coughs> I have two tables. Like this. Okay, this is the student table. This is the parent table. Okay, otherwise, this is the relation table. This is the parent table. This is the relation table. Okay, here what happened? I have thousand rows. Okay, this thousand rows belongs to thousand rows. This way. Again, I have in this total I have something five thousand rows. Again, two thousand I need to insert one time. Again, I need to insert two thousand. Next two thousand. I need to insert like. But break wise, after completion of this one, I need to start this one. After completion of this one, I need to start. But that means 
I don't want to run all at a time. In between, I need to do, uh, run one more day. That time, we can use after completion of thousand rows, we can keep as a sleep. Afterwards, we can start this one. After completion of this task, again we can come and we can start this one. Again, it will go to here. Again, stop. Again, stop. Like this, different different methods we can use. Sleep and again start like this. Here, second. Okay. This output will be like this. Okay. This is the normal structure, how it be. Actually, uh, how it will process inside threads and all this. Actually, one main thread, if you work started automatically, it will split it into multiple threads and it will be This one, we can achieve our way out. We can <coughs> split the task and we can do it. Okay, first of all, I will show the task, threads, how it will work. Afterwards, I will do next level. without threading here also same thing what I told I took one to one method one one to hundred print again method two one to hundred print and I start method one method two and tanzula to read like okay just observe Method 1 0 to up to 50 is printed again 2 it started method 2 executed 50, 0 1 0 2 like this started up to 50 means it is not running parallelly automatically it is sequentially it is running one completion of task again one more task is running now Is there? No. 
that's why when you add thread name space, it is when it belongs to thread name space. Okay. Just if you don't know exactly name space, just here click on again it will become small blue color. Click like this pop up will come and we use it threads. Okay, now again I created method one. Okay, here I am going to give okay, just 50. Okay. As of now, I will comment this one. I will comment as well this one. printed different print date 102 to 17 is printed afterwards again it started 0 to 0 again it started 18 19 17 is business like this so alternate based on if you work when to sleep automatically one thread one more thread it will start but if you want to see proper output means just use some time here I commented that's why it is not waiting some time if you see just like sleep also usually here also I'm going to do 50 only you know one by one again which is waiting some time for printing to one one is printed of course some is waited four seconds again it started This is the one way, just like thread. But I don't want like this each and every one. After completion of some line, automatically I need to use thread. Just like here I am commenting. Okay, here I am given 20. up to 20 is printed fastly after 20 again waited some time again is printed why well, because i given conditionally just here in first method when i equal to 20 only i need to wait some time same way here when i equal to 10 only i, I need to wait some time but this is a different ways i said no after completion of the because i need to start this one like this different way ways means can go like this just like i condition what is that trade for today? Here, 4000 is 4 seconds. Oh, it's milliseconds actually. 4000 is nothing but it is milliseconds. It will come down 4 seconds. That's why I commented sleep for 4 seconds. Okay? Here actually 1 I think. Here also one more. This is a different. <coughs> okay. 
the digital. Which one is the highest prior priority and lowest priority? I have a different win threads, but I want to give some thread is the highest prior. Just like if you want to copy some files. That's why now if you copy one this one, this is suppose sometimes system to system it's very fast. System to pen level are little bit slow. Like this, if you want to do different print operations and your coding language also, we can use like this. See, suppose sometimes uh, my thread was means running administrator means it is very fast need to do. Who are running student means I want to do a little bit slow. That alone we can do achieve by me this way. This was priority. Here yeah, same thing. Normal threads created, I, I created two threads, methods, and in that I will say. Okay, just I will turn this one. waiting some time. Okay, sorry, this is only up to 5 5 only. This is absolutely some fast. Based on priority, it will be out. But we cannot observe what is the priority, what is the data. But what will happen? If you running long data, that time only it's fractional data. Just like that. See here it is printed method 1 0 now. Wait, I will give different. Will you opposite? See now. Before it's printed method one first. Now it is printed method two. Based on priority, I given method two is the highest priority. Before method one is the highest priority. Based on that one, it will give priority. Okay. Here are different. Okay, here see, observe. I am created one thread. Third name, first. Okay, static void main. Afterwards, I created one main work that way. first. Afterwards, see here that thread only I am doing n number. Just let's see thread this one started. Afterwards, what I am doing for loop again I started each and every time. This is a main thread. Just like one thread only I am doing n number of times. That's all 10 times I am doing. I think it is sleepy, sleeper forcing. Just Let's see. Now, this is the main work that thread. Actually, main thread, this time I am giving task to uh, one task I am running uh, 10 times. This is the one first normally main thread. Nothing but see, this is a work that thread. I created an object for this one. Okay, work that thread. Afterwards, work that thread dot start. It started. After what, what happened here, tensor dot right line main thread again. I am sleeping. Just like see how to do the main thread, worker thread, main thread, worker thread. Like this different thread right? yeah. based on what you call. Okay, you understand now? Again, one agent program, just take it. This again different thread is there. Again, thread the join, thread sleep, or thread about. This thread join means I have separate separate task. I want to join the two threads. That's the purpose we can use thread. Sleep means already you want to sleep. Abroad means just like stars. Collapse that one or stop that thread. That's the purpose. We have separate separate methods. Suppose what will happen after completion of uh, 10 or 20, I need to print 1 to 1000. After completion of the, uh, 500, 500 in each thread, I want to join the threads or I want to abort the thread. I want to sleep the thread. Like that, different methods. Okay, use. 
now here different way examples is there this go through one by one just this is the one thread thread i start main code drama and main code drama i have created all this for process join uh, thread dot start it is thread dot join okay this is the thread dot join means it is joining to other thread let's see Here what happen? One thread it is printing ten times. Work is process, work is process. Finally, I am joining one more thread. After completion of the thread dot join, after completion of work done, means after completion of the thread, automatically it is printing join. Sleep method same. Okay. Next. Sleep method already told you. Same point standard you watch. It will sleep sometime. Afterwards, it will start one more thread. Next. Just a broad width. Just like it will start the thread. Again, this is again different with thread types. Background and foreground. Okay. Means just the differences. Background means when you running automatically it will take care of background only and foreground means just like you can operate separately. This is the thing wait, I will show you. This is the one example for background thread, uh, foreground thread. Oh, sorry, sorry, this is a okay. This is a foreground thread example. Let's see. This is the one example. Just like how it will work. Just go through. I will it out. I will explain. Okay. Next. Same thing. This is a background thread. Nothing but just like we are giving, it is background or foreground. It's true or false. That's it. No changes. Okay. Next. Gap is collector. Okay. This is again important topic. So this we can call it the GC. Gap is collector or gap is. Okay. Separate we can call it the gap is. Selector. What is the meaning of gap based selector? Means here our real life, how what is the meaning of gap based selector? Waste the data, we are pushing into output. Okay, the data, you see that all dust or something waste is of all things we keep in house, it will, it's problem. It will come, so many health problems or space problems, different problems will come in house. Same way, if you go to gap based selector, you switch our program also. If you keep in all the dust or something, it will just have memory wastage. Mm -hmm. Finally, see so suppose my memory was 2 GB RAM means uh, my uh, all time if you are running process, process is all I am keeping separate, separate means all time my process, means processor will go, it's not possible to run also. That's problem if you want to avoid, you can, the Miss C Miss Cross, they introduce gap based collector. This is the gap based collector actually, C C sharp compiler it will take care. How it will take care of us? Actually, this document it will provide. Actually, here we have different different layers. When garbage collector will trigger, when garbage collector will not trigger. Actually, when garbage collector will trigger means 
suppose my memory has something 1 GB. Okay, in 1 GB. In 1 GB, almost my program is running up to 90 percent. In the sense, almost 900 MB. Up to 900 MB, my program is running. But even after completion of 900 MB also, again one more program need. I want some space. That time what will happen when your space misused, uh, unused space will go into uh, See, suppose this are just like uh, 200 MB is there, a fill space for using purpose. But I want something 300 MB. But it's not sufficient to run the code. That time what will, that time Jarvis collector it automatically it will trigger automatically what are the memory unused here. Using means it will, uh, it will not drop. Unused name space automatically Jarvis collector will take care of it will remove in the space. That time here this memory is again we uh, differentiated three types. We separate separately. Base runs is suppose some important memories and all they will, it will not if you if this one also can create three types this is a very IMP this is very useful information I don't want to draw just like static memories that that static variables and all it is global level variables whenever you want to use that and all it will come to here okay here it will come normal variables our variables which are actually here it will come third party okay like this different variables based on priority it will not touch this one. It will touch this one and it will here the first it will look for first third priority space and it will remove. Afterwards also your program is still waiting, this uh, till memory needed. That time again it will go to and it will clear. Finally it will go to here. This it is based on your variables it will clear. This and all actually C sharp compiler will take it. Just This is the three types. Okay. First is zero generation, we can call it zero, one, two. First generation and second generation. Means based on memory allocation, automatically it will name as the three different levels. Based on priority, it will clean the memory. This automatically it will take care, no need to work in it. But anyone asks, this is the three generations in there. This is like zero generation, first generation, and second generation. So based on memory, it will clear. Based on priority, it will clear the memory from our space memory artist. The name artist RAM. Okay. See, this is how to find the object is alive. Alive means nothing but somebody are using or something. That the steps to find the that object is alive one. Okay. That's the thing, suppose here I have I said it is using 900 MB, but in a 900 MB also some arbitrary objects are clear. So suppose I created n number of objects in my memory. After completion of one memory, that memory entirely waste only. That's no need. So suppose this comes your application. Anyway. First object I created for this purpose. OBJ1, OBJ2, OBJ3, OBJ. Four object like this I created. First it will print 1 to 5. Afterwards 5 to 10. Again it will print 10 to 15. Uh, something 15 to 20. Like this first method it will object one it will take care of printing 1 to 5. It is taking it like this different print. Suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like this is printed already. What is the meaning of that one? Object is this two objects went up out of school means it is un alive means it is not alive that time that two memories we can kill we can kill and we can reuse the memory to for other objects that and all automatically will take from the other side okay when garbage collector went okay this is a different print when virtual memory is running out of school this and all can tell is a virtual memory. This when virtual memory went out of scope. This is not able to run our program. This that space is almost full. This this automatic. Okay. Next, uh, when allocated memory is suspected to acceptable 
threshold are missed, that's nothing but just like see, suppose when I give allocate a memory to other guys, but other threads is running in that memory. That time what will happen? I need to clear that one, I need to clean it. Just like see, one just like this is a my space, one not one is a my space. I allocate it to one memory. That time what will happen? I try to access that one, it's already allocated to that one. That time also, that does take care of it, it will reallocate the memory and it will clear the memory. Okay, next. How to talk manually? This all is system will take care. But when, how to talk the data, means how to talk the data to manually? That's the GC data collection. That's the way to talk the method. That's explicitly means, actually implicitly means automated will take care of compiler. But explicitly if you want to talk, you can tell GC that talent. It will take care of, means if you want to be separately, if you want to talk the other that time it will talk the other Okay? Again here, in trends also, again different talk. This is a manage, unmanage. This topic, uh, Miss so Little Bit, I given this idea. What is a manage and unmanage code? Means manage code means what are the code is run on C sharp compiler. Your C sharp language is all we are writing code now. Just like uh, Tanjur operator and classes, method, features, this and all. Under the manage code, unmanage code means other third party data. If you use it, just like word, pad, reading, or transitions, strings are something uh, different when the tools we are using to of your application that are written under the unmanaged code. Managed code automatic CSR compiler it will take care of clear the memory. Means it is all under the one uh, means CSR compiler. This is about classes creation, object creation and memory allocation of each variables and also threads creation and like this different when under the CSR compiler. It will run under the CSR compiler. Okay, what are the un unmanaged code? It is not in C sharp controller, but we are using that thing, but it's not under the C sharp controller. That memory allocation and all, it is not called to collect or it is not called to manage C sharp So suppose I have word file, notepad, something text dot txt. I want to write the data into txt file or want to clean uh, the data from txt file. What I need to do? I need to write some PHT reader and write. After reading the data, what happens if you open any Windows application in Windows, normally what happens? In my system, one folder I open my word file. Just like I am doing my work. Something I am writing the data. Without saving, I am open, open this one. I went to, again, this is a folder in D folder slash something in uh, D folder, means uh, D directory is the data, this file, text. Okay, I am reading the data, writing the data. But I went to folder, I tried to delete the this file, which will show some other user using this file, is not possible to delete. Why? Because this already opened. Open this already some task is going on, this one. This I am not able to delete. Same way, in Lucisha uh, coding also, when I am reading or writing, reading nothing but I am taking the data. This time first, how to read the data means, first I need to connect the this file, after connecting I need to open the file, after open the file only, I can read the data. That are the operations going on. In between I try to delete the file from my folder. What you show, you show, you are reading the file. Okay. See suppose, after reading, this is just like open connection. Okay, after open connection, if you not close the connection, what will happen? Automatically, always the connection was open. Up to that program running. Okay, that time, this circle, C sharp compiler will not take. If you open, after open, normally what you need to do, C sharp compiler need to take care of closing automatically. So, suppose in this main method, I have this open and read write different print methods in there. 
after completion of this break method, automatically need to close. But it will not close. Why? Because this is an unmanaged. This is a third party. This is not possible to close it. This is not possible. We need to close the data. That where you need to take care of this analysis. Actually, we, I told you, no? try catch final error. Finally, it will help here. What are the memories you use for third party tools or any spaces open, files open or any that are not, we can close. Why we can close here only? Actually, here open, here close. Here only we can close. Why we are going to final error? What is the meaning of the promise? Here open the connection, okay, perfectly. After when I read it back, I got error. What will happen? Automatically, it will not execute this two lines. It will go to catch and file. Okay, catch nothing but for catch in the dead, this error lock we are using. But in finally, we are closing the dead. Okay, that's why we need to put that closing connection. That's why that uh, I don't know, finally we can explain afterwards. This is the main use of finally. Actually, this type of scenarios, if it come, it's not possible to close the connections. When I error to get here, automatically this line it will skip, it will go to catch. That time I am not able to close the my file. Thus we can close it finally. This is the use of finally. And this is called the made is unmade. Made is code automatic system temporary it will take care of creating objects and removing the space. But same thing, unmade is code is not possible to see sharp compiler. We need to close the integrity separately. Okay. It is the, I give you something, examples, something. Our tools, main is the code, it will come string, integer, boolean, and the. But it is the, it will come basically third party libraries or third party references. Libraries, nothing but I should know. Uh, if you want to use Ajax libraries and all, we need to include the DLLs and third party files as well. Okay? Here you can see observe Tom reference files also. Tom objects. Okay, it will only, here it will dot net objects. Actually, when right click project, here you can observe. When I am adding, add reference. Here you can see Tom. For this Tom objects also, we need to close automatically. This is to not take care of many. Okay. This is the use of why, where we need to clean up the unmanaged. Unmanaged is not possible to clean, but how to clean? Actually, previously we have separately, we need to create separate classes, previous versions of that. I dispose and use in Two ways to do it. I dispose and use it. I dispose this, just the meaning of I, in what you can say, I dispose, just dispose, we are doing dispose. Here I nothing but again our interface. Okay. Using is a one more keyword for just like block of code. As well as we saw using keyword in namespace. Nothing but we are including the namespace. Same thing this object also using it will work. Next I will show you that. As well as this one of example for I dispose. Here what I am doing means this are not code, no need, but keep in mind what is the use of I dispose. This explanation also it is very difficult, there are so many uh, methods we need to use, dispose, dispose and all. Just keep in mind, dispose, what is the use of this method means. Actually after completion of one object, we need to send that object to, we created separately one I dispose class. That for I dispose class, we are sending object to clear the memory allocation. Just like we created one hard copy file, each and every time no need to write the code, same code, you can send that object to the here, you can release the memory. But that purpose I created something. This is the HM for that. Okay? This is nowadays no one miss I dispose is went out of so no one used that is the way we need to write so much code and how we need to write. Now they do just like one more keyword, using. Okay? This is just a keyword 
pre-defined keyword. Actually, I, uh, some C sharp I will have almost some pre-defined keywords. Pre-defined just like keywords uh, using if, if else, else, and uh, thread. These are like this almost, uh, that time it is 40 plus, now almost uh, sometimes 60 or 80 plus pre-defined keywords. This pre-defined keywords, that keywords already exist in C sharp. Okay. But keep in mind when creating any classes or variables or anything, don't use pre-defined keywords. When you use pre-defined keywords, also automatically the color will vary, but it is problem to jump around. That's why don't use pre-defined keywords. Okay. Now using. How to use the using keyword? Actually, using also it is take care of automatic. Normally, how it will be object? <coughs> uh, I suppose I open one connection. This way, I create an object connection equal to sorry OBJ connection equal to new connection. I give it username and password. I will explain this connection thing in detail when I go to any other object. This way, as you need to this connection only one class and I created an object, new object, I am passing username password for just like assume it is our database connection. Username nothing but our SQL server username, password nothing but SQL server password. This is the one connection. Here I created connection. Okay, I created an object. Here after object OBJ connection dot open. I open the connection. I did this much. Insert some means some operations I did. Insert or update or delete, retard from SQL Server I did. After completion of what I need to do? OBJ connection dot close. I need to do this is a normal way. But here introduce one more concept. Just like using open brackets. In open bracket, I am creating object. C O N O B J connection equal to new connection unique password. After open bracket and close. What is the meaning of open brackets and close brackets? It will indicate open the connection. This is the scope of this connection. It will be start here, it will end here. This after this one automatically using statement will take care of closing the connection. This is the main use of using statement. Okay? This is a different way. Not only connections we can use for file operation or different way. Using statement, what is the meaning of using statement is when you create by using statement object for any class or anything it will scope will be here to here after this one i try to access this connection would be the connection. this object i try to access is not possible to access but because this scope will be here to here after it will close up that's the anything so okay see here This is this a review. This go through that one. Okay. Next. This is a very important topic again. Extension method. What is the meaning of extension? Just like extension, just like we are providing more or moving to next or adding extra features. Like this different way, extension nothing but just like meaning of real world, adding new features or adding the same. I have miss I have 20 members team in my team. I'm extending the my team, means I'm increasing the my team members, or I'm increasing the my house space. Or I'm increasing my salary. There are different ways we can say extension. Extension is nothing but adding the new features. 
same thing here, right? Uh, since I have planned with also, I still nothing but adding the new features to existing, uh, existing the means existing facility of OnePlus. Now, Actually, I don't know console, what is the difference between console application and class level. Okay. I created one class level. Okay. Class library I created. This class library name was my namespace or something. Uh, mathematical. Okay. Mathematical operation. Under that I have automatic automatic mathematical operations. This is my class. In that class, I have public add and public subtraction. Like this, two methods. Zoom it, I have explained small example, but big way think in future. Okay? Like this, two methods are. What I need to do? Actually, this one is a third party. Means third party guys, they decorated like this and they give it to me. I purchased something amount, 100 rupees, I purchased this code from my third party. But they will not give this code, they will give DLL part. The DLL will not be nothing but we cannot track any code. But some ways is there, but if you track also the code is not there. Okay? Like this ways is there. Okay, I asked. They give it like this. Now I can access add method and structure method. How I can access first? First in my class, I have main method. Okay. This is my main method. I want to access. First, I need what I need to do? Add, I need to add this reference to my project. I added reference. Here I find I kept using. This one. This is the my main space no? I used using map. Okay. Now after using a namespace automatically, this is my class name. I can create object for my class. Just like automatic math operations OBJ equal to new automatic math operations. I created object. After creation object, obj dot. When I press dot, I can access two methods. Add obj dot subtraction. When I pass the data, it will come here and it will return the data. That's the normal method. Now it's working perfectly fine. No problem. I assume I deliver to client is modified. But client asks some extra features. Now, for automatic operations, I have only addition and subtraction. He asks something multiplication and division or module. Separate, separately, he asks. I want that operation. This assume it and we want calculation code. First client requirement was just like these two operations. I did. I given to deliver to client. But client asking extension. Just they are in extra features. That's feature. They want multiplication and subtraction. Multiplication and division. They want. Now, I want to change my code again. I can change my code. I can come and I can do operations here. But, third part I cannot do. Again, I ask to third part. Give me as well as the two codes. I, you even add a subtraction is working perfectly fine, working fine. But I, my client requirement was little bit change. Give me that code also. But client, this guy said, third party, I don't have that code right now. I need to do my uh, again, or I need to pay some amount, otherwise I will do some. I need to take time. Instead of taking, if you give third party again, I need to pay some amount, I can take and I can add. But what will happen? Again, problem will happen. I need to pay extra amount for the work. That's limit. Okay, no problem. I added it. If you, E not ready to work on code. 
what I need to do? I need to create my own code. That time, I need to add my code. See, suppose for that purpose, I created my just like class A B C and multiplication division. Added code. I added here. But for this purpose, again, I need to create. ABC OBJ one equal to new ABC. I need to create one more object. For single two operation purpose, I need to create one more object. That's not good. But trying to memory allocation from that, they will don't allow this one. They print it out the page. They want same method object. I want this future as well. That time. That extension methods it will come to picture. Extension nothing methods nothing but already adding the already existing code. We are without modifying the code. We are adding the extra opportunity to means extra features to that code called extension. Already I have code that extension method I am providing new features without creating third object. Now I created the object right okay two methods but. Same object. I need to suppose obj dot multiplication, obj dot subtraction, uh, division. I need to access this one. That topic called extension. Okay. How to use that one? I will explain now. Understand what is the extension method? This is the use of what is the main use of extension method? But if you have already existing code without breaking existing code, if you want to add new features, you can use extension. That's the main use of extension method. Class library, okay. Not Tanjore application. Class library, okay. Extension methods. Class library underscore extension method. Okay. Okay, I added one class. Math. In math class, I'm replacing. Okay, math operation. Here I have two methods: add and subtraction. Add is taking in a b and it is written integer value. Same subtraction is taking a and b. It is written in a minus b. Okay. This is an extension method. Now I build it this one. Okay, it's building success. Building success. Now. Now I'm taking console application. Okay. Now this is the my. I means I am creating all into one project. Why? Because for this we don't have any client and all. No, that's why I am creating all here. That's now class library as it. Now this third party to this. I want to add the one to my project. This is the my main project. Okay. Here now this is a program. 
is the X extension methods again program. Now, thus I build it separately. Now I need to add that extension method to my program. The purpose, what I need to do? Right click, add reference, where it is? In project folder. In project folder, you can see here, class library, extension methods. Just I am add it. Now we can observe the scheme too in my project. Console, okay? Scheme. Now, how to add namespace? Just like using uh, class library extension methods. Okay, now I am able to add. Now, first I will comment this one. Okay, this other program, this if you want to use the subject that you use it now. static method static class for i need to do what how i can tell just like just as of now this hide it without extension method how i am saying add and multiplication is uh, subsection i am able to access but i want to add multiplication or division or only methods i need to add the purpose what i need to do i created two but what i need to do i need to create one more object for the class i need to access without that one i cannot call for that one, I created yeah. map classes in this one of the class name. Okay. This is the static node, that's why we need to keep all static. Okay. Static properties all are static. Now, xx dot, I am able to access multiplication. But it is not good way to access. I need to create one more object. That exists in the static that I am able to access. That's just that global variable. I created one more object. This is a not good way to use. How to achieve that, that program without creating new object? That's called extension method. That's see how will be. This one I'm deleting. Here. I created new class public static class xx any name can you access 
afterwards again a one more class method this is my multiplication method here observe it public static in we need to use must transfer in static static afterwards this dot math this dot math nothing but we already created upside down that's how we show you afterwards my parameters a and r b a and b are my input parameters i am doing calculation i am returning the data but here h star word was this math that this math nothing but this object okay what is the meaning of nothing but we are passing that object to our method okay meaning that means without creating means this is extends method logic that method object means what are the already existing code this object that i am passing into my method and we can observe here this one more keyword this this nothing but project means by this particular class that i am passing into this automatically it will we can now this suppose when i delete this one here when i uncomment i am not able to access okay is problem that's why okay now we are able to just do one thing this is more now observe one more point addition subtraction are my methods Sub multiplication are the my extension method observe which difference add subtraction multiplication what is the meaning of it uh, means little bit difference i can get that's called here you can see small arrow okay small arrow that's the extension method. you can see here extension method okay to which class extension method you can see there only math operation okay that's the extension method this is the again normal methods here no multiplication oh, sorry subtraction no nothing is showing just like it is doing math operations open brackets and open brackets input and output okay you understood what is the extension method this is without creation any object or without making the client code or any code we are adding the new features to already existing code this and this also our uh, programming just like uh, android android is coming just like different bit version version 1 version 2 something chart data something something version is coming no is they are not breaking existing code they are adding new code okay this all the different bit tricks we can use for the extension understand this very important questions if you do any interview extension methods they will ask what is the use of extension method how we can achieve extension methods Use of extension method can say directly extends nothing but it's an add-on feature. So it means already existing class or existing method. But how we can achieve by using we what are the keywords you need? If you're not writing entire code, also no problem. They will ask what are the features, what are the things we observe, what are the things we observe. Extra we need to use static static classes and static methods. Afterwards, this that object we need to pass. Okay. Afterwards, how we can look in intelligence. Normal method and extension methods difference. Normal methods use your normal friend icon, and extension method it will go some arrow down arrow. Okay, that's the extension method. Okay. okay, here one more method, same. I added object. This is like this. Any number of methods you want to, we can do. That's the normal thing, extension method. You understand my extension method? It is a very important topic. Okay, don't leave. Just practice this extension method. Actually, this extension method, I tried so many. Actually, almost three years and more time, I tried, tried. I am not able to understand. But finally, we got one solution only, we can understand. This means I saw so many websites. They will say extension method, but adding features, adding features. But they will not explain what is going on, what is the full depth. 
But like this, I only so no. Just keep in mind, if you go to interview, this are like what are the answer? No, that points if you say is fine. Okay. Here I give you step by step. Actually, I took here different example. Just like here, I took class library display and print method, and I added class library. Okay. Here you can observe XML. extension method features and I'll also I added one more example just go through that okay next ena just I will explain ena just go through and read the data ena nothing but it is nothing but same just like our variable how our uh, variable data storing just like I want to store some data in i equal to zero in j equal to one like this different way. Here I am also one type of variable. Here, okay. Here I'm, it will store multiple data, similar data, multiple. Just like status or weekdays or month, uh, year, month, year of months and uh, some uh, different different gender, male and female are like this different. Why we are using suppose? I want to store weekdays in the database. Means how much space will take? Our status or something. Just like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If I want to store each and everything, it will take almost six to eight letters. Eight letters space in database entry. But database also if you use like this, what also is difficult to understand. To me. Instead of like that, they, we can all variables we can declare into our C# sharp code. That's by using enum. That how enum it will work. See here, normally we need to use in uh, like Sunday equal to zero, Monday equal to one. Normally, if you go to any website or any normal software build, they will tell Sunday is zero, Monday one, Tuesday two. Like this, naming conventions they have. Sunday zero starting with Monday one two three four five like this they will be done. Miss coding line will be done. Status is suppose our application status is done. So in case if you upload any document to college website, first it will be saved. After submit, it will went to review. It will went to administrator review. Afterwards finalize. They list your all ticket. Your examination completed. Like this different field status is done. Like this your status is also. In database, how they will mention zero, one, two, three, four, five, six? They will mention that zero, one, two, three, four status. Then they will that full keyword. Suppose zero means we need to mention if uh, your applications are submitted successfully, your status are waiting. Like this full sentence database, each and every returns now calling you. Why? Because suppose lakhs of students is there. Each and every uh, student application, if you keep in that much word, means it's not valid. Instead of that one, we can keep it zero, one, two, three like this. Based on that status, what you want end user, end user is who are uploaded that document. They want to see that status. That time we can use display that email. Now here I given different different examples. Just read this one. I will explain both normally. Just here I took int normally Sunday. Int is right here. What's here problem? I want to display Sunday means first I need to here I need to display like this. Now. I want to store up to ten means uh, b seven b test means seven variables are equal to be separate separate. It will waste up space. This example is in the end. That's the way. Okay. Next by using enum. This is the by using enum enum keyword is the one of key predefined keyword. By using enum keyword, you can declare the enum. Okay. Here enum enum name enum name means nothing but a given b test. Afterwards, open class and close that. I declare the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, here automatically these are names. Names indicates zero, zero, one, two, three. Also, I need, but zero, one, two, three. I no need to assign. Automatically, it will start with zero. It will end with plus 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 plus. Okay, how it will be? The output is like this. Okay, weekdays start Sunday, weekdays start Monday. That's one format. If you want to convert integer, I want to print integer. It will print zero one. Same input, 
no need to assign any values okay leave it this okay now enum inheritance also is possible okay this is one more feature inheritance also it is possible some errors also it is just check it that way. error what is going on error uh, this is also one example okay here what is the problem sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday uh, friday saturday again sunday key that's why already predefined means already is defined that's why it is throwing error error larger means up in output you can see error message also this weekdays already contains defined sunday means this is a error okay next in this example here observe it one more point what's the meaning of this see here sunday same thing here assign 10 normally to start with 0 0 1 2 3 2 start if assigned a separately value intentionally means it will start from there now my value will start with 10 again if monday means 11 tuesday means 12 one by one equally that's also one more add and feature for you know if you want to normally it will take 0 1 2 3 but if you want to separately if you want to this you can assign the first only automatically it will take next one you want to assign sequence it will take okay now see output will be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, like this. This is the one more feature. The one more feature was here, you can observe Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday onwards, in, in between a given value is the 10. Now, how it will be? Sunday 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Afterwards, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. Just see output. 0, 1, 2, it is printed. Afterwards, 10, 11, 12, 13. Next, this the again I send all variables are free. Split like this also is possible. Different different things. But here we need to check that what data type we are going to give. That's a problem. That Sunday, Monday, Miss Ajuan is not not possible to give long values. Okay. This is one more example. Just like I have given 100 Sunday, 10 different. This is the log. Actually, before error throw, I given like this. But here we are inheriting from log. Log nothing but we can give extra number. Okay. That's why it will not throw any error. <coughs> Okay, this also different way. What I'm doing here? First, Sunday is equal to 10. Again, Monday is equal to Sunday. Thursday is equal to Sunday. Like this means like this argument. What is the meaning? Sunday is equal to 10. Monday also 10. Tuesday also 10. Wednesday also 10. Thursday also 10. 10. Why? Because already assigned. It's one by one assigned. Just see output will be like this. Next, this is one more way. Okay. Here already assigned, but I try to assign one more time and I it is not. Okay. These are the again different different comparison one to one comparison and all. Okay, means one one is comparing two or false or two later. Next, this is one more example. If you want to print day or integer means you can tell what integer. If you want to print dot screen, okay, this it will print only days. Okay, these are the different different examples. Go through one by one. Okay, take some errors will become that errors also funny. That error message also here. We miss almost uh, something 25 examples for in one one individual separate separately. This will go through. Okay, tomorrow I will start daily.
ठीक है मे बी डेलीजियस इज ऑलमोस्ट लास्ट टॉपिक दिस अनानमस में तरह से आई विल एक्सप्लेन ठीक है अनानमस इज नथिंग बट वेरी स्मॉल डेलीजियस आल्सो इट्स वेरी स्मॉल टुमारो मे बी आई विल स्टार्ट एडी गुड आफ्टर दैट ओके दिस द ऑलमोस्ट सी शार्प इज कंप्लीटेड सम टॉपिक्स आर मे बी सम आई टॉपिक मिस इज अ वेरी लेस इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक आर is a very high priority topic this priority nothing but uh, who are having more experience they need to learn about the market if you have any just go through different different uh, website or different courses courses this uh, coaching centers and take the, the what are the topic if you are missing just i will explain the topics okay uh, today maximum i will upload this files into net just download it okay okay see you tomorrow